Welcome to the day in the life of Pao Fu. This is my beautiful view outside of my bedroom. Cows and corn. I like to pray here. I go like this and look out the window. This is the famous map wall. Thank you, Mom. This is the hoop. Lately, it's kind of hard getting up because I'm lacking motivation, but I try to stay motivated and read the Bible and pray and stuff. Um, I try to stay... The, what's the word, Dan? Try to stay productive throughout the entire day, you know? Try and do things that'll benefit me. So, like, shooting hoops like this, you know? Maybe NBA one day. Who knows? I need to make, I need to make one. <laughs> this is my studio slash gaming area. This, this is my snack. I always get muffins because they got lots of calories for the skinny boy. It's probably the most expensive thing here. SM7. Uh, I stole it from my dad. I didn't actually buy it myself, but... Yeah, so I try and make... I try and work on music, like, every day. If I don't work on music one day, I'll feel... I'll feel, like, gross and, like, think I didn't do enough or whatever. So I just try and work on music. And I just make whatever I'm feeling like. I have a lot of songs that are, like, started, you know? So whatever song I feel like working on that day is the one I'll, I'll go with. Uh, lately, it's been like lo-fi, uh, melodic stuff, like chill, chill singing songs I've been working on. Sorry for the, the lawnmower in the back. I live out in the country, so. This is a song I'm working on right now. I think it's pretty cool. Falling like a snowflake, catch you in my hands. I can make your heart melt, waiting for the chance. If I sing a song, can you show me how to dance? Now look up at the stars, leave our shadows in the background. Falling like a snowflake. Follow me to Neverland, take you where you've never been. Um, yeah, I think Jaden Smith is hopping on this one, which, which would be crazy. That'd be really cool, so. Anyways, so. Yeah, that's this is where I make music. Lounge. I always invite my friends over. Well, I try to. Big ass couch and uh, curved TV. I just bought it. Super good deal, actually. It's where I store all my cans. I was trying. I have like problems with my balls. They uh, they hurt sometimes, and apparently it's because I sit down too much. So. Like, I'm always making music or playing video games or whatever, so I need to, like, stand up more. So I try and do something active every day. This is one workout I do. It just works on my shoulders because I got weak shoulders. <laughs> They're only three pounds, so it's not heavy. So this is my room. Got my own bathroom. Kind of nice, but I'm not going to show you. Let's go. That's my little brother. He's the guy filming. Say hi. 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 This is our guard dog. Mm -hmm. Oh, <laughs> shoot! Hey, Clark, settle down. We're best friends, I thought. Brand new. I got a lot of vans. Shout out, vans. Everyday shoe. Um. Uh, I like boxing, it's a, it's a good workout. I'm not that big of a fan of running, so I'd rather punch something for cardio. I guess I'll box this, you guys can watch me box. Anyways, I do that every day. If I don't box, I'll skateboard. These are these are both new hobbies, so don't say don't say I'm chef. Thank you. Look at this guy, catch a load of ham. <laughs> Cruising. <laughs> All right, these are my skate shoes. I drew on them. What were you filming? I was gonna say, I need my flops, I forgot what's I drew on these, me and my girlfriend. Just for fun. That's her name. Tashi. 
I like drawing on stuff. Um, started making music when I was 17, grade 12. It was kind of just like a hobby at the start. I found out about SoundCloud and just started uploading on there for fun. I was too nervous to tell people about my music, but uh, as the numbers grew and stuff, I kind of got more confidence. So, so now all my friends from high school and all that, they, uh, they know about it, the secret, secret got let out. It's kind of a nice background, eh? Yeah, SoundCloud is what I started on. It's nice because it's free. And you can, uh, you can just post and like people comment and give you feedback. So that's what I started on. Uh, my first few songs I released were pretty garbage. And then slowly over the years I just improved. Um, still got a lot to improve on, but yeah. Okay, let's go. It's gonna look sick. This is my deck. Uh, it's a chance deck. Shout out to Raised. They still haven't sent me a deck though yet. Luis, Edward, where's the deck at? Uh, I don't really live. Well, I guess I do. This is skate park, like, eight minute drive, but I'm pretty bad, so I don't like going there because kids just look at me and like, what are you doing? See if I can land, uh, see if I can land a pot shop at first try. Second try. Hey. Okay. Kick flips I've been trying to learn for like since I started, so like four months now I guess. They're freaking hard. But I've landed a few, so give her a go. Awful try. I feel like they're way easier when you're not moving. Never mind. We just bought a bench press, but we haven't set it up yet. Also, don't, I don't know, I don't eat enough food to, to bulk. That's kind of where I'm at. Like, I want to get bigger because I'm skinny, but I just, I don't make myself meals. And my mom never cooks for me, so it's like, how am I supposed to bulk? So I'm gonna stay skinny for a while, but one day I'll start, I'll start cooking. Oh, I also like to play basketball. Uh, sometimes I'll drive to like a nearby court and just, just dribble. I don't really have anybody to play with out here, so kind of sucks. play by myself yeah skateboarding is by hard hardest thing by far by, by far the hardest thing I've ever tried like it's next level anybody that can skate props okay you can end it um, Do you want a peanut butter smoothie? Sure. So this is my classic smoothie. Uh, I make it like once every day. And it's peanut butter, banana, spinach, milk, and ice. When I was in high school, I got my first part-time job at Rona, which is like a hardware store. There's a bunch of kids my age there. So like, there's like this little attic part called the mezzanine where they would always send us to go get stuff. And we ended up making like a little fort up there and we would just stay up there for hours. It was pretty bad. <sighs> my next job was Rocco's, which a lot of people know from Riverdale. It's like the diner they use in that show. And I worked there just before the show started. And it was so busy, like, so when I ended up getting fired because I sucked. So then after Rocco's, I started working. It was like a food factory where, like, we'd make bread and pizza and stuff. And I was like the busboy, is that what it's called? I don't know. 
Basically, it was a bunch of like East Indian older women, and I had to go run back and forth and get them boxes and stuff. But like, they were so hard to understand that like it was very frustrating because they'd like yell at me to get some, and I wouldn't understand what they're saying. And then I'd like come back thinking I got what they needed and they'd be like, no, it's the wrong thing. And they'd get mad at me. I'm like, I can't freaking understand you. And then they wouldn't understand me and then kind of just hated each other. But that job was very stressful. And that's when, that's when my music started doing better. That's when I remember at work, I'd just think about, I was so excited to go home and work on music. That's like the only thing I was looking forward to. I worked there for a year. I was depressed as shit. And then I quit. It was the best day of my life. And then I started working construction in Vancouver. I had to wake up at like five every morning, drive three hours and work construction, but it wasn't actually construction. I, I was just like, we were working in, ho in a hotel in Vancouver. What we would do is we would just lock ourselves in like a, in one of the rooms and then we would just play each other in Hearthstone. It was a really easy job. That job was, Probably my favorite. Made decent money. And then I did that for like a year, I think, too. That's when I started making money from music. And then so I didn't really need a job too much anymore. So I worked part-time at a car dealership. And holy crap, the boss was an asshole. Not even two weeks, and then I quit. So I was like, this guy's a dick. I got to drive some cool cars. Yeah. Kind of. And then I quit that, and I worked at Triple O's. And I worked there for like two weeks, and then I quit. And uh, that job was really chill. That's all my part-time jobs. Is my thing clean? Can I have it? If they gave me stuff to do, if I had a job that had to be finished, I'll do it, but I don't know. I guess I'm a bad worker. I mean, who wants to be working in a construction hotel, you know? What? Put one banana. One scoop of peanut butter. Another one of my hobbies is learning TikTok dances. I learned one a day. So the title of this video is A Day in the Life, but it's actually been three days. Um, so I cheated, but thank you for watching the video. It's probably long and boring. And uh, this, yeah, this year means so much to me. It's been a crazy year for me. It's been super huge blessing i had no idea that deathbed would do this good or all my music and uh, i really appreciate the support god bless all of you and um yeah thank you for watching i love you guys there's a lot of music on the way some boring love stories part five get ready peace it gets cold on the 4th of July And I'll watch fireworks inside of your eyes And if you didn't have to leave, I wouldn't mind Never fight, and I don't wanna know what it's like It gets cold